Hi, I'm Dave, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about things with slashes in them. And by that, I mean links, URLs, routes, and endpoints. Uh, you've probably heard of links and URLs, but you probably haven't heard of routes and endpoints, since that's like web developer lingo. But hopefully this video today will uh, shed some light on that for you. So uh, right now I'm looking at our app that we've been working on. Uh, I'm looking at app.js, the main entry point for our app with the node server. So what I'll do is I'll start it up like we normally do. Oh, it's already running actually. Let me just type clear. I'll run it again. Node app.js run. Okay, now it's running. Let's take a look at our site. It's already up. Let me just refresh it. Okay, here we go. So if you've been following my videos, you'll know that I've been working on this site and I have three links. Days bio, days blog, days projects. So link is a general term that you all know, which is the things with the underline or not, not having an underline. It depends how it's styled, but usually there's an underline. You click on it and it goes to another page. Uh, so that's a link. A URL is the page it goes to in terms of what's in this address bar. So the link Dave's bio, I click that and it goes to the link. Well, that is the link. It goes to the URL at localhost colon 3000 slash view one. So that's the URL. This is the link. This is the URL. So you already know that, right? Next is routes. Routes is usually referring to the part after the slash. So you have localhost colon 3000 and then you have slash projects. Usually when someone's talking about a route, the route here is slash projects. So you can even see that here. We sort of define some routes in one of these files. And there are in our front end app.js in our public folder, js app.js. Uh, we define some routes here actually. So where it says when slash v1 is called, then go to this template. When slash v2 is called, go to this template. When slash projects is called, go to this projects template. And these when slash projects things, those are routes. Um, another route we have in our program is back in our main app.js. Um, in the last video we made an API and then we called that API. Um, so the route for that API function we made called add two numbers is is this. It's slash API slash add two numbers slash the first number slash the second number. So that's the route definition. And as far as I know, uh, endpoint and route are kind of interchangeable. Like someone will say, what are the endpoints for your application? And you'll give them a list. Like my endpoints are slash API slash name and also slash API slash add two numbers. And also there's two variables after that. So um, that's, what, that's what you'll say when someone says, what's your endpoints? Um, but when I'm referring to a specific endpoint, I might just say, um, hit this route or post to this route or post to this endpoint. Yeah, I guess I could use both, but um, yeah, so those are two less, lesser known um, constructs in web development. So you should know that moving forward because we are going to be making more endpoints, more routes in our program. So before you get confused, know that the routes are defined in this app.js file and then we map those routes to a function like we did in the previous videos. We mapped the add two numbers route to a function which is in another file, which is in the api.js file. And that's where we define what the function does, which is take the two numbers from the URL and then add them and return the result. Um, that's all for today. Good luck. See ya.